back in Los Angeles for the second and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, it's pretty dry down here right now, but I am told there's rain in the forecast for later in the game. It's not entirely clear how severe it's going to get, but we could be facing a weather delay if the storm front passes over the ballpark. For now, let's hope for the best. Yeah, Heidi, thank you. And guys, certainly having a fresh bullpen ready for a game like this one will be an important step towards a victory. No doubt, Maddie. And there's rain on the horizon. You want to get depth. You want to score early as an offense, get some depth and some length out of your starting pitching and hand it over to that fresh bullpen. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove and the leadoff man is aboard. Giancarlo Stanton now. Runner at first. To start the inning and Dan when it comes to pitching in the rain what changes I think the most difficult part Matt is the ball gets slippery it's hard to keep your hands dry and if you don't have a good feel on that grip it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball still looking for our first hit in the ball game pretty well struck high and deep to left field back goes Peterson at the track the wall A long two run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton and this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result.